The year was 1827, a time when the mysteries of electricity were just starting to be unraveled. Into this world stepped a daring German physicist, Georg Simon Ohm. In the hallowed halls of science, his name was yet to become the stuff of legend, but his groundbreaking work was about to change the course of history. Against the backdrop of the Industrial Revolution, a battle was being fought, a battle to understand and harness the potential of electricity. The field was rife with questions and desperately lacking in answers. How does electricity move? What guides it? How can we control it? It was Ohm, working tirelessly in his laboratory, who dared to challenge the unknown. He dared to quantify the seemingly unpredictable behavior of electricity, to tame the wild currents that had baffled minds far and wide. With each experiment, he meticulously recorded his observations, edging ever closer to the truth that would ultimately bear his name, Ohm's Law. Finally, after countless trials and sleepless nights, he published his findings in Die Galvanische Kette, Mathematisch Bearbeitet, the galvanic circuit investigated mathematically. It was a revolutionary proclamation, the current flowing through a conductor between two points was directly proportional to the voltage across the two points, and inversely proportional to the resistance between them. At the quantum level, resistance occurs when electrons moving through a conductor collide with atomic irregularities, such as a missing atom, or, vacancy. These collisions disrupt the flow of electrons, causing energy loss that increases atomic vibrations, producing heat, and resulting in electrical resistance. The reaction to Ohm's work was not what he had hoped for. Instead of acclaim, he met with skepticism and disbelief. His law, so painstakingly derived, was dismissed by many in the scientific community. The world was not ready to accept the simplicity and elegance of V equals IR. Georg Simon Ohm, the pioneer behind Ohm's law, faced significant criticism from his contemporaries, notably the German physicist Wilhelm Weber. Weber, who held the view that galvanic current was a single event rather than a steady state process, strongly disagreed with Ohm's perspective that the electric current in a conductor was a result of an equilibrium between diffusion and electromotive forces. This criticism initially impeded the acceptance of Ohm's law, but with time and subsequent experimental verifications, Ohm's work gained universal recognition as a cornerstone principle in the understanding of electrical circuits. Now, almost two centuries later, every electrical engineer, every physics student knows of Ohm's law. It is taught in classrooms around the globe, a tribute to the perseverance and vision of Georg Simon Ohm, the man who dared to unravel the mysteries of electricity.